GRP Vertishore system provides shoring solutions for excavation depths from 1,000 to 2,000 millimetres. Incorporating single acting hydraulic struts to support trench widths ranging from 620 to 1,450 millimetres. The GRP Vertishore system includes a 500 millimetre wide backing board to provide additional protection from loose material in the trench walls. The product is installed using the dig and place technique and is therefore only suitable for use in trenches whose vertical sides are generally stable and self-supporting in the short term. Ensure any air is removed from the hydraulic cylinders by opening the quick release valve and compressing the rams. A pair of hydraulic struts with hose connectors should be placed inside the channel with the male hydraulic coupling facing the top of the panel. Connect hydraulic struts within the channel using provided pins and arc clips. Care must be taken to ensure that hydraulic cylinders do not collapse. Place the top panel over the struts, aligning the pre-drilled holes in the struts with the channels. The end of the strut with the hose connector is secured using a single pin through the upper hole and is pinned through both bottom holes. When positioned correctly, both panels will be flush. Carry the unit over to the trench and position flush with the edge. The top of the panel must be facing away from the trench. Connect the bucket pump to the hydraulic strut via the supplied hose, ensuring that the hose and bucket pump do not obstruct the installation. The hose fitting will connect to the quick release valve on the upper cylinder. Hand dig or excavate the trench to the required width and depth and batter the ends whenever possible. Faces of the excavation must be vertical and provide sufficient space for the system to be easily slid into place. Feed the installation slings through the upper holes in the protruding channels and back through the loop at the ends of the sling and pull tight. Carefully begin to launch a GRP Vertishore system until the weight of the unit is balanced on the edge of the skid or trench. Take any slack from the straps and carefully begin to raise the unit such that its self weight will begin pulling the system into the excavation. The valve on the single acting bucket pump is one way and should remain in the forward position to lock and pressurise the hydraulic strut. Continue until the facing panel pushes tightly against the opposing trench wall and that soil begins to compress. Panels should be in continuous contact with the trench wall. It is critical that any voids directly behind the hydraulic struts are packed out with timber or similar strength material to ensure that the ground is suitably preloaded. Continue to pressurise the system to between 400 and 750 psi. The pressure gauge must hold a pressure and not indicate any loss in pressure. Move the hydraulic hose by prying off with the release tool. Retrieve the hose, ensuring that the female connector does not fall to the ground as grit and dirt can damage the mechanism. Continue to install GRP Vertishore units along the required length of the trench, the maximum of 2 meter centers for GRP Vertishore's with a backing board, or 1.5 meter centers for GRP Vertishore's without a backing board, or as required in the design documents. Note that normally a minimum of 3 are required to work safely within an open length of trench. GRP Vertishore units are removed in a continuous backfill and lifting sequence. Depressurize the struts using an MGF release tool and use a spade to prise panels away from the face of the trench. Once the panels are capable of being easily lifted out, continue backfilling and raising until the unit can be completely removed from the trench. It is not safe to re-enter the excavation and backfilling must be done from ground level.